Hey guys, this is Dr. Israb with Integrative Kidney Solutions and today I'm going to be talking to you about kidney-associated drugs and their interaction with nutrition uh, and causing nutritional deficiencies. There's a lot written about drug-induced nutritional deficiencies and this is a big category, but today we're going to focus on kidney-associated drugs only. So let's do this. So uh, the first class of medication that comes to mind when we talk about uh, drug-induced, uh, kidney-associated drug-induced nutritional deficiencies is ACE inhibitors. ACE inhibitors are uh, those medications such as lisinopril, monopril, fosinopril, and they were found to actually uh, improve uh, outcome for diabetic and non-diabetic kidney disease in uh, landmark studies in the 90s and, uh, and early 2000s. But uh, it is known now the, that these medications can cause uh, elevated potassium level, especially with advanced kidney disease patients. But what is not known is that these medications can, can cause the loss of zinc in, uh, in the urine and then leading to zinc deficiency. And uh, we've seen from previous videos and, and, and previous uh, blogs that zinc has been associated with uh, poor kidney outcome and poor cardiovascular outcome because it's actually uh, used by many enzymes, uh, more than 200 enzymes in our body. Next class of medications is uh, uh, ARBs or angiotensin receptors antagonists. These medications um, are um, such as losartan um, or candysartan or, or other sartans. Uh, and they're actually um, known to, uh, less likely to cause a zinc deficiency as compared to uh, ACE inhibitors. So, uh, so you, you do need to be cautious about looking for zinc deficiencies in these medications. And they also have uh, been found to improve uh, outcome in kidney patients, but they also cause uh, hyperkalemia or uh, elevated potassium level in patients with advanced kidney disease. Now, the next category is beta blockers medications. These are blood pressure medications that have been found to improve blood pressure control and cardiac or heart outcomes in patients with congestive heart failure or coronary artery disease. Uh, these medications, although they do not cause direct CoQ10 deficiency, they have been found to cause their, their effect is actually through an enzyme that is dependent on co CoQ10. So if someone has CoQ10 deficiency in the, taking these medications, they're more likely uh, to have worsening congestive heart failure. So it is important that um, CoQ10 be checked and be supplemented with, uh, in patients who are taking uh, beta blockers. But it's uh, very important to know that be uh, beta blockers do dis disrupt melatonin and cause melatonin deficiency, and they therefore disrupt sleep patterns and therefore cause uh, sleep disturbances. We know from previous blogs and videos that sleep is very important for our kidney health and progression of kidney disease. Now, the next, uh, the next class of medication is very important, diuretics. Diuretics is a, or water pills is a very broad group of, of uh, medications and include two major categories. One is called loop diuretics, such as Lasix or furosemide, and uh, the other category is thiazide diuretics, such as hydrochlorothiazide. Now, uh, we know that many of those medications can cause potassium deficiency and magnesium deficiency, but we don't know that there's a little bit of difference between the effect of these water pills on uh, calcium. For example, loop diuretics such as Lasix tend to cause calcium uh, excretion in the urine and, and then therefore calcium deficiency, and hydrochlorothiazide lead to uh, elevated calcium in the blood or maintaining calcium in the blood. So uh, therefore it increased calcium in the blood and, and, and they're good that, that way for bone health. Uh, <clears throat> and that, this is a way that actually thiazide diuretics can be used for patients who, are, uh, who have kidney stones because they decrease calcium in the urine. But uh, on top of it, uh, we need to remember that uh, some of those loop diuretics such as uh, Lasix again, um, have been associated with other uh, deficiencies such as thiamine deficiency, vitamin uh, B6, and folic acid, and, and vitamin C deficiencies. Um, 
And so, so it is important when you're taking diuretic to be checked for a uh, loss of these uh, nutrients and to be supplemented as needed. And the next item is very well known, the next class of medication is very well known, the statins or cholesterol-lowering medications. These medications are, are well known that they can cause um, CoQ10 deficiencies and supplementing CoQ10 can help prevent uh, muscle uh, breakdown, muscle injury. Now, uh, metformin, we talked about it in a previous video, is mainly for uh, the uh, primary care physicians, but metformin is a good... Uh, glucose lowering medication or blood sugar lowering medications but uh, what's important to know is that metformin can bind um, intrinsic factor in the stomach which leads to vitamin b12 deficiency so metformin think about vitamin b12 deficiency um, and then finally um, there's a group of medications called ppi or proton proton pump inhibitors proton pump inhibitors are actually uh, I, I want to say they should be banned almost. Uh, these medications can cause disruption in our gut um, and um, they have been found in several studies to cause acute kidney injury and, and chronic kidney disease. What's uh, important about these medications is also to remember that they can all cause other nutritional uh, deficiencies such as calcium, iron and magnesium deficiency. They can also cause vitamin B12 deficiency. So um, these medications, you know, if someone has really active ulcer in their stomach or bleeding ulcer or something like that, they should be, you know, they, they're good for, for that, but uh, they should not be taken in the long term. Um, and, and they should be tapered in a, uh, under supervision of a provider. Um, at any rate, the bottom line is that if you're taking any of these medications, make sure you work with your provider to make sure you get checked for nutritional deficiencies and supplemented as needed because that can affect your health and your outcome um, depending on the medication you're taking. For more information, follow us on www.inkidney.com. You can also subscribe to our newsletter, subscribe to our video channel here, the YouTube channel. And if you like this video, make sure you press the like button below and comment to let us know what you think about these videos and would like to hear from you. Follow us also on Instagram at Integrative Kidney. We are also on Facebook and Twitter. Have a good day.